Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about 10 movies that are set in Paris. Now of course a lot of movies are set in Paris so we couldn't put all of them in. But let us know down in the comments which one do you like the most. Now let's start with... Amélie. This highly successful romantic comic fantasy tells the story of Amélie, a young woman with a keen imagination and an active fantasy life. When Princess Diana dies in the summer of 1997, she decides to put her life in her own hands. This film has won several awards and was a number two in Empire's magazine's list of the top 100 best films of world cinema. The film is set in the picturesque neighborhood of, I'm sorry French viewers, but Montmartre, which is a beautiful picturesque neighborhood of Paris. Next movie we have is Mission Impossible Fallout. The sixth installment of the Mission Impossible spy film series offers a thrilling taste of the French capital, as Hollywood star Tom Cruise is involved in a frantic car chase throughout the boulevards of Paris to secure a dangerous dose of plutonium. The landmarks come to life like never before. From a flight over the Eiffel Tower to parachute landing on the glass roof of the Grand Palais, this movie gives us a unique dramatic action view of Paris. Next movie we have is La N. Unfolding over 19 hours, the movie La N, or Hate in English, offers a realistic take on the violent, lawless existence of three underprivileged youths living in the suburbs of Paris. This movie is even though it's a landmark film, it proved to be very controversial, as it includes the footage from 1986 to 1996 Paris that gives us a different view of the Paris capital. This movie proved to be a success as the director won the best director at the Cannes Film Festival. The movie also has a great rating on IMDb of 8.1. Next movie we have is Charade from 1963. Charade is a stylish comedy thriller. It follows a trio of crooks who relentlessly pursue a young American that is played by Audrey Hepburn. This trio of crooks will go through Paris in an attempt to recover the fortunes her dead husband stole from them. The film is often described as the best Hitchcock movie Hitchcock never made. The movie is quite entertaining, and it has some action sequences that include a sprawling fight scene that ends on a Parisian hotel roof. But the film's real climax is the romantic final scene, cementing Paris' reputation as the city of love. Next movie we have is Inception. The movie follows a thief, Tom Cobb, who is able to steal secrets from people's dreams. After he receives an assignment to plant an idea in someone's mind, through dream travel he assembles a literal dream team. But one of the Inception's best scenes occurs when Cobb helps Ari test out her skills, watching in awe as she folds the streets of Paris to a 19 degree angle and creates a bridge that seems to go on forever. The scene was filmed at a real-life Bir Hakim bridge in Paris. Next movie we have is Hugo. The movie Hugo doesn't show us the Paris in a normal way. Instead, we see bits and pieces of the city through the main character's eyes. Hugo, a 12-year-old orphan, lives in the clock tower at a railway station, which he seldom leaves. Instead, he peers out at the city's most famous landscapes from up above while thinking about his late father. Set in the 1930s, the Martin Scorsese-directed movie is visually stunning, with elaborate sets and all of the interesting sounds you would expect in a train station. Because of all of this, this movie won a lot of awards, including Best Picture, Best Cinematography and Best Visual Effects. Next movie we have is The Phantom of the Opera. This 1986 musical of Andrew Lloyd Webber stars Gerald Butler as the Phantom haunting a Parisian opera house and Emmy Rossum as Christine, the opera's new lead actress. This classic musical gives us a love triangle, an underground lair, and of course one of the legendary songs of the Phantom of the Opera musical. Next movie we have is Ratatouille. Ratatouille might be one of those movies that best captures the spirit of Paris. Even though it's an animated movie, the filmmakers spent a week in Paris, visiting sites and eating at famous restaurants in order to bring the city to life through animation. 
Between the stunning scenes and the score, Ratatouille embodies the romance, the culinary history and the feeling of the French capital. So if you didn't watch Ratatouille, we highly recommend it as it's a classic. Next movie we have is The Untouchables, based on a true tale of friendship. The Untouchables is a hilarious story of two men from contrasting worlds who stumble into each other's lives and develop a deep and transformative bond. It follows the character of Felipe, who is an extremely wealthy and relatively isolated quadriplegic, who is actively searching for a caregiver, while Driss is uninterested in the job but comes to the interview purely so he can continue to receive his social benefits. This French-made movie shows the beautiful side of Paris, as well as the beautiful friendship of these two characters. Next movie we have is The Da Vinci Code. Murder in the Paris famous museum and cryptic clues in some of the Leonardo da Vinci's most famous paintings lead to the discovery of a religious mystery. For 2000 years, a secret society closely guards information that, if it comes to light, could rock the very foundations of Christianity. The Da Vinci Code is set in Paris. Even though the movie was recorded on multiple locations, some of the scenes are really shot in Paris. And as for the movie, what can we say as it stars Tom Hanks and Jean Reno, this movie is a classic movie of the mid 2000s. So those are 10 movies that are set in Paris. And of course, there are a lot of movies that are set in Paris as well, but of course we couldn't manage to put all of them in this video. Either way, we hope you guys enjoy and we will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.